In this Python nice GUI tutorial, we will make a web application with number input. When the button is pressed, the appropriate mathematical operation is performed and the result is displayed in the label object. I will show you how to apply the application step by step in the video. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. First, I will create the first number input object. I am creating a variable. I send the label value to the number function. I save the code file and run it. I go to this address using a browser. I added the first number input object to the web page. We can use the placeholder feature on the object. I add the placeholder property to the number function. I am saving the code file. I added the placeholder feature to the web page. I will create the second number object. I'm copying and pasting. I am making the necessary arrangements. I am saving the code file. I added two number input objects to the web page. Now I will create buttons for addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. I am creating a variable for the addition button. I am saving the code file. I added the button to the website. I also create buttons for subtraction, division and multiplication. I am saving the code file. I added all the buttons to the web page. I want the appropriate mathematical operations to be performed when the buttons are clicked. Using the onChange feature, I can call functions when buttons are clicked. I will use the same feature in all button functions. I am sending the value of the button to the function. In this way, I will determine which mathematical operation will be performed. For now, I define the button as pass. I create a label object to display the result on the screen. I am saving the code file. I added the label object to the web page. Now I will edit the function that will be called. Let's try to access the numbers in number objects. I edit the result label object with set text. I am saving the code file. When I click on the button, the addresses of mathematical operators and objects are shown. I need numerical values entered into objects. I can get the numerical values I need by using the value function. I am saving the code file. Mathematical operators and numbers are displayed on the screen. Now I will perform appropriate mathematical operations by defining if queries. If the button I created for addition is clicked, I will add the two numbers. I also define an if query for the extraction process. I am making the necessary arrangements. I am saving the code file. The buttons I created for addition and subtraction operations work as I want. 
I also define if queries for multiplication and division operations. I can do this by copy-pasting. I am making the necessary arrangements. I am saving the code file. The addition, subtraction, division and multiplication buttons work as I want. In this video, we learned how number input objects work. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video.